coming up. We're going to see you in a much different kind of a movie coming out later this year, the third Venom film. Um, yeah. I mean, Tom Hardy. There's no, they, yeah. they don't they don't make him like Tom Hardy. He's a very I unique know. soul on and off the screen. I know. Yeah. Um, how would you describe the Tom Hardy experience? What was it like? Actually, it was um, again. I'm not going to lie. I may have stepped onto an even bigger set than than the Batman movie that I was in. I, this set was insane, and the the creativity behind it was like what. So the first, firstly, you kind of walk into that. Being like, wow, 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 this is, oh my God, this is really big. Okay. And then Tom is so, he's such a fan of Venom and the relationship between yeah. Eddie and Venom. And he's so excited about telling the story. And he's just so thrilled to have everyone be a part of telling that story. So he feels kind of like a kid on the first day at school. And um, that's a pretty good energy to start a job like that with because it's intimidating again too, you know, yeah. and, and, um, but then when you have Venom himself be as excited as you are and also as kind of nervous as you are because you all care, it feels like, oh, all right, I'm in the right place. <laughs> Did you have a sense of like, tonally what to go for because those first two films are very unique there's like there's dark yeah. comedy to it like yeah. was it easy to key into sort of what tom and kelly wanted to do i mean they're both they were so communicative too of, yeah. of if you had any questions that it that was an easy easy fix but i i think um it's hard because i can't i don't know how to answer yeah. these things without doing right. anything that might get me cut out of the movie you know <laughs> um so <laughs> But I will say that, yeah, you have to be aware of where your character fits in the world and aware of where they're, you know, going to fit at the end of the movie in the world. And uh, and so it's, um, I mean, it's like it's like any any job, you know, you want to you want to make the world feel like the audience are going to get lost in it. You want it to feel real, even though it can be potentially um fantastical sure being said i feel like there you know there could be some truth to some of the things going on kind of that's kind of crazy we still don't know who you're playing i mean i mean in this age where like everything spills well done and keeping the secret i'm good at keeping secrets i think secrets are important to keep 